hostiles guarding location nearby.
that was fun. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos here with the Division Two Control Point, uh, Control Point Heroic Takedown with a super dope ass build that I just put together. And um, I just wanted to go over the build specs with you guys real quick. So, the homie, one of the viewers on my channel, I be smoking, went ahead and suggested that I uh, use the Lady Death with the Striker build. He said it's hella dope. So, um, even though this isn't exactly the build that he recommended, um. It is very similar, so let's go over the specs right now. You guys seen it's really fun to run. Heavy, high damage, um, good survivability, and it's just, uh, you know, quick if you love to run a gun. If that's your play style, check this build out real quick. Before we get into that, though, if you guys are new to the channel, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys just enjoyed that video, and I hope you find my build videos helpful. If you do, hit that like button, guys. Don't forget to pop that notification so you don't miss out on my next video. And definitely, if you guys want to help me grow this channel, guys, hit that sub button real quick. I'm at 613 subscribers, so everybody that's been supporting me, a big thank you. You guys are awesome as hell and much appreciated. All right, let's go over this build. So, Gunner Specialization, yeah, yeah, I know I rock it with a lot of my builds. So, uh, Gunner Specialization, 5% increase in rate of fire, 10% armor on kill. We'll start with the pistol. The pistol is a card 45 with finisher on it, killing an enemy within 10 seconds and swapping back to your primary. 30% critical hit chance and 30% critical hit damage. That's a good talent and it's often overlooked. And I mean, I didn't really run it too much in this uh, match, but it is a great talent. So, uh, the Lady Death is what was suggesting me. Um, I'd be smoking suggested that I leave or uh, use the Lady Death with Striker, and he had a little bit of um, a different talent on the vest, I believe. But all in all, it's still the same. I wanted to try the Lady Death with the Striker, and it works great. It's fucking awesome. All right, look, we got a uh, 96k weapon damage at 1,035 rounds per minute with damage to armor attribute CHC and weapon damage with Breathe Free on it. When moving, gain 4 stacks per second or 8 stacks when sprinting. Each uh, round fired consumes a stack, amplifying weapon damage by 75%. Kills also grant 20% movement speed for 10 seconds. This is the perfect weapon to run with Striker. I don't know why I didn't try it before. Just because, I mean, you want to run up there and just get it, bro. This weapon works great. Um, then for my secondary, which I didn't use in this video, is my Vector SBR 9mm with up close and personal on it. Killing an enemy within 7 meters grants 30% critical hit damage, or 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. Alright, let's go to the striker build. We got the 4-piece striker gear set. Um, weapon damage, CHD and CHD mod. For the holster, weapon damage, CHD mod. Knee pads, I got armor, CHD mod. And the gloves I got weapon damage and CHD. So check this out real quick. Um, Striker has a 15% increase in weapon handling, 15% uh, increase in rate of fire. So you got a 20% increase in rate of fire with this build. And then you got Striker's Gamble. Weapon hits amplify total weapon damage by 0.5%, uh, stacking up to 50 times, which equals 25% weapon damage. Stacks are lost each second instead of uh, missing a shot. The old striker build, if you missed the shot, you would lose your uh, stack. So now they're only lost each second. So as long as you're running and gunning and keep getting kills, man, you're building that uh, striker buff up hella quick. All right, for my chest piece, I got Seska Infantry <coughs> with a CHC for the branch head attribute. Then I got weapon damage, CHC, CHD, and a CHD mod with Intimidate for the talent. While you have bonus armor, amplifies total weapon damage by 35% to enemies that are within 10 meters so when you see my buffs all down by my ammo and all that stuff you see all the uh, buffs that are going on when you see that bear man that means i got 35 percent weapon damage to enemies within 10 meters that's why you want to stay pretty damn close with this build and then we got the memento backpack which gives us a uh, weapon damage armor and a skill tier uh with a i have a chd mod on there and then kill confirmed you got two different types of buffs when you collect the tag you get um Bonus armor with, um, I got two uh, armor attributes, so it's 20% bonus armor every time I collect a tag, 25% weapon damage for 10 seconds every time I collect a tag, and 5% skill efficiency. Now, when you build up your momento by collecting tags, there's a long-term buff that lasts for 300 seconds, and that equals 30% weapon damage, and then 3% um, armor regeneration, and 30% skill efficiency. The Memento, like I've said a million times, is probably one of the best versatile 
gear items you can get in the Division 2 because it works with almost any kind of build. And then um, I got my shield, which you don't need to use too much, but you can if you want. It's at Tier 3, so it does help a little bit. And then the Banshee Pulse, which I do use a hell of a lot. I love the Banshee Pulse. Just absolutely, you know, knocking the enemies into dazed and confused. Works really well. And then we got a 56 CHC and 141 CHD. All in all, I say this build is pretty dope, dude. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. Give it a shot. Run it. Test it. And get back to me on that. Thank you guys for watching, guys. It's Tactical Chaos 1. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.